Hello everyone, this is Monique, and I'm back with another project for Wild Orchid Crafts on behalf of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. So today I created this really cute little birdhouse. This is one of the small $1 birdhouses from Michaels. Um, I started by painting it a gold color. Then I used the Folk Art Crackle Medium. And then I painted Antique White over top. Once that was done, I inked all the sides, all the corners I should say, with brush corduroy dist distress ink. And if you look really, really closely, you can see I also did some faint stamping here with a script stamp. And I just kind of went around the sides and the roof and I randomly stamped that onto the base of the birdhouse. So then I started with this trim here. It is the natural cotton lace that you can find in the Wild Orchid Craft Store. So I glued that all the way around. On top I added the flat back ivory pearls. And I believe this is the 6mm. Yeah, this is the 6mm. I actually got this as a gift, but I wrote the code on here. I also added the 6mm pearl trim along the base here as well. So after that was all done, I started layering with a variety of flowers and leaves from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used three different sizes of the leaves. I used the 30 millimeter, the 20 millimeter, and the 15 millimeter. So here on the front you can see that I've used 30 and the 20 millimeter. And this large flower here, actually I just stuck mainly to the open roses. This one is a 20, 20 millimeter sepia brown. And then I layered a, this one here is the 15 millimeter dove gray, followed by one of the 15 millimeter, sorry, no, that's not, that's a 10 millimeter aqua open rose. I also added a couple of the 5mm closed rosebuds. These guys here. And just to finish this little arrangement off, I actually created a stick pin with these new pearl head pins I got for the AMI Design Team package yesterday. They are smaller, so they're perfect for little projects like this where you're looking for something that's not quite as big. Um, all I did was I glued just a little gold color butterfly bead from my stash on the end there. I thought that was really cute. So I wrapped these flowers around the side here and you can see I have a, t a 20 and a 15 millimeter leaf. This rose here is one of the 15 millimeter aqua roses. And I put a little 10 millimeter Ivory Rose, this guy's here. You can also see on the top of the roof here, I put a few flowers as well. I've got a 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter leaf here. This here is the 15 millimeter sepia rose. I've also tucked in here, this is a 8 millimeter. Um, yeah, it's the 8mm semi-open rose in ivory. And I also tucked one of these tiny little 4mm buds in there as well. And just to finish this off, I put one of these cute little butterflies that I got not too long ago. These are the small cream sequence butterflies. And I really like those. They're really cute. Okay, so now if we turn around to the back, you can see I added another one of the butterflies. There's a couple of the 15 millimeter leaves here, as well as a 15 millimeter aqua rose. This is a 20 and a 15 millimeter leaf. 
I've also got a 15 millimeter sepia rose with a 10 millimeter white and like I did on the other side I just wrapped this one around and there's just two uh, 15 millimeter leaves and this here is a 15 millimeter aqua open rose so so yeah I really like how it turned out I think it looks quite cute and lately I've been just trying to create without using a lot of pink I don't know why and <laughs> judging from my design team package yesterday you know that's gonna change so anyways I hope you like the project thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend you guys bye bye